Welcome to Lifehouse Kids. I'm Kaylin. I'm Ayana. And I'm Daniel. Hope you are ready for some fun today. We have lots going on, so let's get started. this whole month here at Lifehouse Kids and the reason is simple. Christmas! Christmas means we are celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. We talked last week about the hope we're going to have because God kept his promise to send Jesus. During this time of year, I have so much joy when I think about what Christmas Day will be like. I get super joyful when I think about celebrating with my family and friends. Sometimes I feel like I might explode. Well, today, we're going to perform a little exploding experiment. You can do this at home too, but make sure you have your parents' permission before you start. You will need some vinegar, food coloring, baking soda, a funnel, a plastic ornament with a removable top, or a container like a water bottle, pl a plastic tablecloth, and some towels to clean up after. Let's get started. I've already taken the tops off our ornaments and added two tablespoons of baking soda to each one. We've also added some food coloring to the vinegar. Now we'll start pouring our vinegar into the ornaments. As you saw in our experiment, the eruptions were huge. The foam spilled all over. It couldn't be contained in the little ornaments. In today's Bible story, we'll see someone who, although she had some shocking news, she later became so happy that she also overflowed, but with joy instead of foam. But first, let's all stand and sing a worship song to God. He deserves all our praise. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let her be her King. Let every heart prepare Him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven. 
Almost there. Here we go, here we go, uh-huh, uh-huh. What is this again, John? Well, you know how I like to ice sculpt? No, I did not know that. I talk about it all the time. No. Okay, well, anyway, I made an eight-foot-tall Christmas tree, which is an exact replica of the 77-foot-tall Christmas tree in Rockefeller Center in New York City. Wouldn't that just be like a regular Christmas tree? No, you're missing the point! I, I carved the tree out of an ice block with a chainsaw. Oh. Yeah. Oh, now that does sound amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah can, can you take the blindfold off now? All right, take a deep breath. Okay. <gasps> mm-hmm. And prepare to be amazed. Where is it? It was right here. It was. I spent many hours on that. It was perfect. It had like individual branches, individual lights on it. It even had a star on top. Somebody stole my ice sculpture. Oh. I found it. Like this isn't peppermint spice, it's pumpkin cream. Go, what? Go, go, oh, go, go. Oh. Hey everybody, welcome to the So-and-So Show. We are your hosts, Brandon. And John, and a very merry almost Christmas to you all. Yes, indeed. We are so excited that it's December again, and we get to revisit some of our favorite Bible stories, eat lots of fruitcake, and sing carols off pitch for our neighbors. Yeah. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, la 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 la. Merry, merry, uh, Christmas. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that was so much fun last year. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pencil that in for say next Thursday at 2:27 p.m. Oh, that's specific. Yeah, well, there's lots of holiday plans, my friend. <laughs> you gotta squeeze them all in there. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess it's a plan. Uh, you guess. Yeah, sure. You better be sure. My time here is precious, buddy. This is Christmas. This calendar fills up fast and full. Oh. Look, see? Yeah. Look no, at I that. See. Yeah. Ooh, I see that. <laughs> Good, because tomorrow. Look at this, look at this. Tomorrow, I'm making gingerbread houses with my nieces, then off to the homeless shelter to hand out Christmas scarves, then I'm helping my mom decorate her Christmas tree before I go grocery shopping for the annual family Christmas bake-off, which is the next day. And the bake-off is always a 24-hour event, so there will be no sleeping that night, and then I have only 45 minutes the day after that for a little nap before the Christmas train leaves the station again. You going on a train? It's a metaphorical train, Brandon, and it doesn't stop till New Year's Eve! <gasps> I love Christmas. If I may speak freely. Sure, you have 23 seconds. Okay, uh, it seems like your calendar is a little overstuffed. Yeah, what do you mean? Like, how are you going to enjoy all of the things this month if every minute is filled with some type of plan? Christmas plan, that's what Christmas is all about. It's about having Christmas all month long. Okay, but still, I don't think it's what Christmas is all about. There's other- Time's up! Please welcome someone who knows stuff. What? expecting a guest today. I know, I didn't have time to schedule a visit with my aunt and my uncle, so just make the best of it, okay? Hey, Aunt Irene and Uncle Jim, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, John. Yeah. Your studio is lovely. Uh, uh, this is Brandon, my co-host. Oh, oh, hi, Brandon. Oh, it sure is good finally meeting you, Brandon. <laughs> we love watching the show. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, Merry Christmas to you both. Hey, Merry Christmas to you all. Hey, have a seat. Okay, oh, right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's great. Oh. Yeah, right there, right there. Right there. No, no, yeah, no, 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 right here. I, uh, yeah, there you go. And uh, you're right here, right here. And Uncle Jimmy. Okay, that's oh, yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> All right. <laughs> okay, uh, tell us who you are and what you know. Well, um, hmm. We are your Aunt Irene. Yeah. And oh, and I'm Uncle Jim. Yeah, we, we covered that. We covered that. And I don't know what we know. Um, well, I know we love you, John. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. yeah. <laughs> oh, and I know all about raised bed herb gardening. Yeah. And that is all the time we have for today. Hey, thanks for coming on the show, you guys. It was oh, great seeing you. Oh, but we, we just got here. Yeah, yeah, come on, John. Don't be rude. I'm not being rude. I'm just trying not to cut into Kellen's time. Oh, that's it. What? It's Bible story time with Kellen! Hey, Kellen. I hope you need help telling the Bible story today, Kellen. 
uh, I think the so-and-so show players have it covered this week. Not anymore. It's time for the dynamic stylings of my Uncle Jim and Aunt Irene. Hi, Kellen. I'm an angel. Okay. This should be fun. Here we go. Aunt Irene and Uncle Jim in the story of Mary and the angel. And you can find this story in the Gospel of Luke. <clears throat> Around 2,000 years ago, God sent an angel named Gabriel to the town of Nazareth. Hello, I've got a message from God for a girl named Mary. Mary was engaged to Joseph, and Joseph came from the family line of King David. Mary. Oh, hello. Who are you? The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. How exciting. Mary was actually very frightened when Gabriel appeared to her. Oh, okay. Oh, how terrifying! Oh, see, that was really good. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I do. I really felt your fear. Oh, thank you. But do not be afraid, Mary, for God is very pleased with you. And you will get pregnant and have a son, and you must call him Jesus and he will be called the Son of the Most High God, and his kingdom will never end. How can this happen? I am not married. The Holy Spirit will come to you, and the power of the Most High God will cover you. Oh, wow. That's really something, ain't it? I guess God can do anything, right, Kellen? Yeah. In fact, one of Mary's own relatives, Elizabeth, was also going to have a baby even though everyone thought she was too old. Oh, that's amazing. What God says will always come true. So, what do you think, Mary? I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. After that, the angel left her. Oh, okay then. See ya. Now, Mary really wanted to share her news with someone, so she went to see Elizabeth. The baby in Elizabeth's belly jumped for joy when Mary arrived. And Elizabeth told Mary, God has blessed you and the child you will have. You believe the Lord's promises. And then, Mary said, My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God my Savior. Want me to keep going? Thanks, Aunt Irene, but that'll do. Mary may have been afraid of what was going to happen. She may have been overwhelmed with all the planning she had to do to prepare for a new baby in her life, but she was able to find joy in it, and she took the time to praise God for being faithful to her and her people and for always keeping his promises. The end. It was incredible. Yeah, great job, Aunt Irene and Uncle Jim. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey. Yeah. Oh, and thanks to you too, Kellen. Thanks. Nah, don't even mention it. What do you guys think of the story? I loved it. An angel appearing to someone, that's always epic. I liked how Mary was willing to trust God even when things seemed impossible. Oh, and I like the song. <laughs> oh, stop it. Oh. It was great meeting you both, and thank you so much for your help with the Bible story. You bet. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, bye, bye, Kevin. Kevin. Oh, we better get going, too. Yeah. Lots of plans for the holidays, yeah. you know. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Can you guys stay a little longer? I've really enjoyed having you here. Well, well, well. Are you sure, John? I mean, you seem awfully busy. I am. I mean, <laughs> I was. Oh. Hey, looks like my schedule opened up. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> yeah, twist my arm. All right, come on over. Come on in. It's Christmas. I don't want to get so busy with all my plans that I forget to enjoy any of them. Oh, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, you know what my plan is right now? Let's sing Christmas carols out of tune. All okay. right, okay, here. <gasps> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Question. 
What are your plans for Christmas? Yeah, what have you got on your calendar this year? Decorating a tree, maybe? Or baking cookies? Or visiting family. Yeah. Talk about it with each other. What are your plans for Christmas? And we'll see you next time on The, the So and So Show! <laughs> All right, jingle bells again, right? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, how fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. It's hard to sing the harmony when you're when you know all the harmony. I was you singing want. the harmony. You start. Oh, you're singing the harmony? I was singing the harmony. Oh, yeah. you sing it then. Oh, I was, I was just. I thought about, I was. Oh. oh, you were? No. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> maybe you that's go the ahead. Let's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Do you know what I love about that story? I love how God had a plan for Mary. The truth is, God had a good plan for the each and every one of us. That's our bottom line this week. You can have joy because God has a plan for you. Let's say that all together. You can have joy because, because God has a plan for you. It must have been pretty shocking for Mary when she heard the news from the angel. She never imagined that she would be the one to give birth to the savior of the world. But while she didn't fully understand how everything would work out, Mary trusted God. She believed that God had a good plan for her life. God's plan to send Jesus to be Mary's son was part of his good plan for your life too. God sent Jesus to you because he loves you so much. A great way to remember this is with our memory verse, Luke 2:11. Say it with me. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Let's keep practicing this verse all month. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our Savior. We can see how Mary trusted your plan, and you filled her heart with joy. Help us find our joy in you, because your plans are always good. We love you, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And that's all for today, everyone. Don't forget to join us for our Zoom Hangout every Sunday at 2 p.m. You can find the info at our website, lifehousechurch.com slash kids. If you do our exploiting experiment, ask your parents to share it on social media with the hashtag LifehouseKids2020. We want to see how your experiments turned out. Thank you for subscribing and sharing this video with others. And on behalf of the Life Has Kids team, we, we miss you and we hope to see you all real soon. Stay safe and God bless.